Hi Andrew, if I can just ask you, we, we all saw when that last wicket went down, we saw the reaction of the players on the field, but can you tell us how much did it mean to you all to win that match tonight? Yeah, it was a huge, it was a huge game of cricket really. Um, it's been a very tough series, it's been a long summer, um, and yeah, we've, we've been in some pretty unpleasant places as a team over the last few days. Um, and we've had to show a lot of unity and together. So we, we came out today determined to, to finish the series on a high. Um, and as you, as you say, you can s see how much it meant to us when that final went down. Did you have to say anything in that interval at all to motivate the guys, or did they know that the job was there to be done and, and they weren't going to lose this one? No, motivation wasn't a problem. I mean, we were absolutely determined to win this game. Um, you know, it was, you know, the Lords game was a tough one to play, but the guys, you know, I, I thought we were tremendous in that game to come through in the way they did. Uh, but, you know, so have gone from 2-0 up to 2-2. Um, yeah, we just we just wanted to get something out of the series, you know, having, having had as tough a time as we had, uh, we really wanted to It'd be fantastic to win the summer on such a high. I mean, there will be a lot of work to do now for the ICC, I suppose, and everybody's looking to what they may or may not decide. What, what message might you give to them from the player's perspective right now? Well, I think it's just this, you know, this summer has clearly demonstrated that when there's a sniff of, of something in the air, um, it devalues the whole game. And no one wants to play for in those circumstances. Um, you know, the players from both sides have been uh, put under a lot of stress and pressure. Um, and we don't want to be doing that. Um, and we shouldn't be doing it. So uh, the ICC needs to take a firm lead here. Uh, they need to leave no stone unturned and they need to make sure that uh, every game of cricket from now on, we can all be 100% sure is, is not tarnished by anything. Um, that's a big challenge for them, there's no doubt about that, but you know, it's very easy to, to kind of go where the series is over, let's think things calm down and cricket will return as normal. If, if we do that, we'll be um, having to contend with this again at some stage in the future. It seems almost funny to think that now to that Pakistan came over to play these neutral test matches and it was kind of extending the hand of cricket's friendship to Pakistan. I mean, Shahid Afridi just said just now that he, you know, he would like to come back and try it again. For a lot of people, I think that seems unlikely after what's, what your thoughts have been on that. I don't know. I mean, that's not my decision. That's the ECB make those decisions. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we're not playing against Pakistan for a little while now. Um, so it's, it's up to the ECB to decide what the best uh, course of action is for the new people. Stocks are in the TVs, and the umpiring standards will be happy, especially in the one days. Do you feel that the umpiring is made for the TV? Yeah, well, look, it's been a tough series to umpire. There's no doubt about it. When the ball's reversing, it's very easy to get the decisions wrong. Um, I actually think there's a case for the review system coming in one day cricket, to be honest with you, but I'm not going to hold the umpires to blame for everything because it's been a very tough series. And what, what have you done uh, personally to keep yourself so focused and performing so well throughout the series with everything else going around? Is that something you're used to or did you do something different from the past few weeks? Nothing particularly different. Um, you know, there, there's a time when you just, you just got to, you're just the batsman like anyone else. You, you put your helmet on, you go out and bat. As is always the case in cricket, you've got to put all distractions to one side and then you know, once you're out, you've got to put on your captain's hat again and, um, and do that job as the best of your I mean, uh, Andrew's come to us quite a lot over the course of the last few days. What's it been like for the players amongst yourselves dealing with all the losses? Yeah, it's been difficult. There's been a lot of distractions around, um, especially the last two games. I think today proved how focused we were and how determined we were to win the series. No, absolutely not. Andrew, you must be doing a sort of nightmare vision of Pakistan winning and celebrating the trophy that ever fashion your mind. Do you have to um, <laughs> I did actually, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it, you know, it was, I, I think having been 2 0 up in the series and, and kind of feeling quite comfortable and, and cosy about things, um, it's a bit of a, you know, a shock to the system to suddenly be 2 0, especially given what went on over the last week. So, yeah, we had to kind of switch on pretty quickly and, and make sure that we came out in a 
exactly the right sort of mindset today. And, you know, it wasn't an easy game to play. I thought, uh, you know, batting wasn't that easy first up. And we had to get a competitive total. And, uh, for a while there, it looked like we were going to struggle to do that. But, um, Malta's innings were an outstanding one, and that's that person in good position. Are you, are you pleased that tomorrow the attention will be on the Ashes squad? Um, well, I am. I'm very pleased with the attention we have on the Ashes squad, and, and clearly, as a group, we're keen to move on from the series and, and uh, yeah, very keen to, to not have a repeat of this at any time in the future, which is why you know, it's so important the ICC take a very strong lead uh, from now on and not kind of take a breather now that the series is finished. Despite everything, has it surprised you how into it the crowds have got? I mean, given given the absolute experience on that day at Lords and the test match compared to the atmosphere you've had here, I mean, it looks like, I don't know, I don't know what does it look like? I mean, it, it's, it's, to me, it seems strange that the crowds are getting so involved. In well, look, I think it, you know, at the end of a long summer, um, yeah, it might have been difficult for the crowds to get involved with, with what's gone on. Uh, it's clearly added more interest to it. Not, Right sort of way to add interest, clearly, but, um, but the, that's why there was you know, there's passionate support on both sides today. Which uh, you know, it's nice to play green and with, with passionate support, but it's just a shame that the support is drummed up in the fashion. Andrew, you must be personally emotionally exhausted as well as physically. Do you think uh, you could do with a few days off, or is it straight off to this uh, Ashes boot camp on Friday with everyone else? <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> I don't know why everyone's got this boot camp from. Look, I mean, it's a we, we're going to spend a few days away together, and it's um, you know it's a way of kind of broadening our horizons a little bit, which I think is an important thing as a group. But, but also, you know, if this series has proved anything, is that unity and togetherness are absolutely crucial at all times. And, and I think we can gain a little bit out of these next few days. Um, and if we can do that, that's going to stand us a very good step for the winter. Just a quick one. Do you, I don't know if you've seen the replays of Cameron Ackmell's dismissal, but uh, it seemed to be a glaring inside edge. Do you think that was poetic justice, given his role in the uh, oh, allegation? Yeah, I didn't think he was. Andrew, um, it's been a great summer. How, co how confident is the camp, the squad, going ahead to the Ashes now, putting everything everything behind you? People are saying this is one of the best chances yet to go and win the series down, on, down under. What's the feeling like in the camp? Well, the feeling is we're in, we're in a very good place. in one six series out of six is summer. Um, you know, I, I don't know what, when the last time I was I did that. So there's a lot of confidence. Also, I think, you know, we would have gained a hell of a lot over what's gone on in the last few weeks you know, in terms of um, bringing us closer together and, and fighting our form. Um, and that can only set us a good step for Australia. But ultimately, you know, going to Australia is, is a big challenge and we're going to have to start from square one all over again. So, um, Quite, I think we're all quite keen to, to have a few weeks away from cricket and just relax and recharge the batteries and then yeah, it's one of the biggest winters that any of us can possibly dream of and, and it's very hard not to be excited about it. Thank you very much. Thanks very much.